Hey everybody, this is Herc Magnus and welcome to today's video and what we're going to cover today is the project manager or the project planner of the plugin on Project Supremacy V3. So basically what the project manager is, is a central dashboard for all the SEO optimization elements across all the pages and posts on your single site. It's also a keyword research and competition research tool as well. So there's basically two scenarios where you'll want to use this. The first one will be when you're planning out any posts and pages for either a new site or an existing site that you want to add onto, where you'll do some keyword research and then you'll optimize a page and create it from there. The second one will be basically a reverse audit of a site saying you already have a bunch of pages and posts on your site, but you want to pull all those pages and posts into your dashboard so that you could do an SEO optimization of those. So what we're going to start with is the first one where we're going to do keyword research and create an optimized page or post. So let's get started right now. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the V3 plugin and project management and we're going to create a first project. And typically I like to set up two projects. One would be the name of the site. So I'm going to do cdemusic.org. Okay, there it is. And now I'm going to create a second project under create new project called keyword research. And we'll go ahead and create that project as well. And the reason I create two projects when I'm going to do um, a new site or something is if I was doing a new site, I want to do keyword research first and I want to group my keywords into little plans and then I move them over into the live site. So what we're going to do is go into keyword research. We're going to load this project. And since we're working with a site that's CDE music, we consider it like sort of a digital music site. What I'm going to do is start off by going to actions and I'm going to um, automatically generate groups. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is do like something like digital music sales. Okay. And we're going to look for that keyword and then I'm going to pull 300 keywords and Maybe I want my minimum search volume to be about 500 search, 500 searches a month and I want my minimum cost to be a uh, dollar. And then what I'm going to do is click on OK and that's going to go out and search for those types of keywords for me. OK, so now it's done its job. It's gone in and pulled a couple of groups of keywords from the AdWords tool and organized them for you. But what our job to do is to find the keywords that we want to target for a specific page. So for instance, we can see certain keywords here like how to sell a song or we can see like how to sell music online. So if we wanted to sell a music product, what we could do is actually click on this keyword cloud tool. And what that's going to do is open up a cloud that will show you all these keywords in a cloud format and show you how many are showing up for each. So if I click on the word music, it'll highlight all the keywords with the word music in it. So for our instances, we're interested in the selling type keywords. So I can see there's two keywords in this group for selling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new group and we're going to get a group of keywords based on selling music online. So I'm going to add a new group and we're going to call this sell music online and that will create an empty group for us. And then we're going to start moving our keywords into that empty group. So once that group gets created, which usually takes a few seconds, there we go. You can see group sell music online has been created. Now what we can do is start moving keywords into that group. So once again, I'm going to look for the sell music keywords. So uh, I'm going to open up the keyword cloud to help me do it quick, a lot quicker. And then I click on sell. So I can see this keyword, how to sell a song. So what we're going to do is grab that keyword and we're going to drag it into our group. These six little dots on the left side of each keywords is what allows you to drag them. So we're going to move that over here and then we're going to go to our next one. So we're going to close that keyword cloud and we're going to go into this group and open up this keyword cloud because I can see there's a couple sell music online keywords here. And if you don't want to open up the keyword cloud, there's only a couple we can just um, we can either select them like this or we can just go through them and look at them. But I find this a lot easier. So for this instance, there's two keywords. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to highlight the two highlighted keywords and you can see they both turn blue. And now I'm going to move that into the selling group. Okay. Um, and then we'll do a couple more. Here we go. Here's two more keywords for the sell music group. I'm going to move those as well. So I'll just grab them and move them into a group. Okay. So now we have a nice little group of keywords here 
that we're going to make a page for it to target about selling music online. But since this particular group is actually a keyword research group and now we have an actual group we're going to use, what I'm going to do is move this um, over to the live page. So I'm going to move this to a different project. Okay, and then it'll pop up and it'll ask me which project you want to move this to. So let's go. There we go. And I'm going to move it into our live group, the CDE Music. So I'm going to move that project out of the keyword research phase into the live phase where I'm actually creating real posts and pages for my site. So what we'll do is once that group has been moved, we're going to actually go back and we're going to now load up our live group. So we'll go back to projects and we'll load our live group. And here we are in the live group and you can see we have our sell music online keywords in a group. So you would repeat that process until you basically had a few groups and what, each, and what each group is going to represent is basically a page or a post on your website that you're going to optimize for each particular group of keywords. So now what we're going to do is we are going to actually, because we're going to use this group, I'm going to select all the keywords using the star and then I'm going to retrieve the keyword data, which is going to give us the broad, the phrase, the in title and the in URL match, which are competition metrics in Google. And then we, once those are in, we can start to optimize our page for this group of keywords. Okay, so now our results are in and you can see they are color coded. We obviously color code things red, meaning it's a bit harder, yellow, meaning it's medium and green, meaning it's quite easy. So with this group of keywords, you can see there's a couple hard ones, there's a couple medium ones, and there's a couple ones that are a little bit easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating our on-page optimization for the site. So how we can do that, there's two things we're gonna open up. We're going to press this little gear icon and this is going to allow us to put in our title, our URL and our description as well as our H1 right here. But what we're going to do is we're also going to open up the word cloud again one more time and this is going to show us which keywords are showing up the most. So while that's loading, what I'm going to do is I can actually organize things by volume or I can click on organizing by in URL accounts and bring up the easier keywords. So here I can see how to sell music online has 720 searches a month, a $4.66 CPC, and it's probably the easiest keyword to rank for. So maybe I wanna be a little more aggressive with this keyword because these ones are gonna be a lot harder to rank for. We could do it over time, but we should probably start by optimizing for the easier keywords. So what I can do is click on the word music. I can see it's in four out of my five keywords. And basically when I click on any word, it, it'll show me how many keywords are on the pop-up, but also the size of the word will show me how much um, it appears. So if I wanted to really optimize for every keyword here, I would have to include all these words across my title URL description in H1. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna target um, basically the main two keywords that are the easiest to rank for, and we'll still be able to optimize for all the other keywords by spreading those words around within our description and our H1. So let's go ahead and create a quick optimization. Okay, so there's our main keyword, how to sell music online. And then we also have how to sell a song. So um, we could do something like songs or jingles okay and then that way we have how to sell music online but we're also including the word song okay so or maybe i should do song or jingles and then we're going to create our url so this time we're going to basically do um sell music online okay and then in our description we can do how to sell your songs and music online okay so we already are optimized for the main keyword how to sell music online and we have sell music online in our url and we have how to sell your songs and music online there so basically we've already covered every variant of every keyword throughout our title our url and our description the last one is going to be our h1 and we're going to do sell your music online so this is a very quick way to show how optimization can happen using the tools that you have available to you, but this is a bit of an art, okay? So the more you practice this, the better you get at it. And once again, I do want to refer you back to v3.projectsupremacy.com slash webinars and search for Project Planner or Optimization um, to watch other videos where we go into far more detail how to optimize things properly. So once this is done and you're happy with what you have, we can close the Keyword Cloud tool. 
and we're going to save our changes. So what we have in the end is a fully optimized um, plan for a page that is going to target these five keywords. And what we're going to do next is create the page now that we have it kind of planned out. So what we'll do is click on our actions tab. And you can see we can create either a new page from this group or we can create a new post from this group. So it's your choice if you want to do pages or posts, I'll do a page. So you can see it's now going to create that page. And what it'll do is it'll create the page, insert the on-page elements for you, the title, the URL, the description, and the H1. And it'll set that page to a draft for you. So we can go ahead and look at that page. So I'm going to open that in a new tab. And let's head over to that page and compare these side by side. So what you can see has happened is here's our project supremacy uh, SEO box. You can see it's created the title, the URL and the description for us. But the URL is not quite what we said we wanted it to be yet. And the reason why is because it's only saved it as a draft. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we turn on the PS SEO box so that it is the thing controlling our title and our description. And we're going to publish this article. And when that happens, the uh, URL inside of the PS SEO box will update. And you'll notice now that it's updated, we can see our title, how to sell music online songs or jingles, how to sell music online songs or jingles. The URL is sell music online and how to sell your songs and music online is our description. Everything matches up and that's what's going to be put into the metadata for our plan. And then finally, the H1 is most commonly thought of as a title for the page, but it's not. When you have an optimization plugin, this becomes the title and this becomes the H1. So if we actually go look at the, the uh, published page, you can see this is the H1 and it shows up in big bold letters there. So you definitely want to make sure you're using a plugin like Project Supremacy that does control your titles for you because Unless you use um, this kind of plugin, this will become three things um, by WordPress defaults. It will become your page title, it will become your H1, and it will become your URL. And that's just missing out on a lot of optimization opportunity. So um, one of the other things I want to show you is that now that this is connected to a page, no matter where you make changes, if you're deciding you want to change things. So I'm going to write the word change in here. And then over here on the title, I'm going to write the word title on the description, I'm gonna write the word description, okay? And then I'm going to update that. So I'm making the change on the actual page. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my project manager and I'm going to refresh it. Um, what you'll see is that the changes were made that were made on the page actually also updated inside the project planner as well because it is backwards compatible, meaning if you make a change to your page optimization element, so anything like the H1, the URL, the title, or the description, it will also update over here. So if I look at this, you can see now we have title here, we have description here, and we have the change in the H1 as well. So if I make a change on this side and just erase the elements I put back, okay, and then I'll save that, what we can do is now go over to our page. And once that's saved, if we press Control F5, you'll notice that those item and items are now updated as well. So it is a backwards compatible thing, which is really, really great because when you start loading in a lot of pages, you're going to have a central dashboard where you can actually see everything that's going on in its entirety. Okay, a couple more features that I can show you is one is you can go on actions and you can add new groups to live pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a new group and call it anything you want. And maybe this one would be about selling songs or selling something else like maybe selling CDs. So we'll just do selling CDs and create a group. And once you create an empty group, if you wanted to, you don't have to use the um, the keyword research tool in here, you can use other keyword research tools. And then you can actually just import your keywords into this. So for instance, if I wanted to add keywords, okay, I can just click on add new keywords, and it would be sell CDs online, sell music CDs on the internet, whatever, okay, you can create as many keywords as you want and just add them to the plan that you already have, so that you don't have to use our keyword research tool, you still have the ability if you like using other ones to go ahead and add those keywords there. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you about the project planner is basically doing a reverse SEO audit. And this would be in the situation where you have a site that has a lot of pages and posts on it, but you want to pull them into the project planner and link everything up properly. So I've already set it up. I created a new group called reverse SEO audit. So we're going to load that project. 
And now that it's loaded, the thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to actions tab and we're going to create groups from existing posts or pages. So I'm going to select that. And what this will bring up is all the posts and pages that are on your blog. So you can organize them by posts or pages, or you can just show everything and then choose the amount of entries that you want to show. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select all of them and we're going to import everything. So I'm going to create the groups um, from the selected posts and pages. And what that'll do is actually create a group for each of the posts and the pages on your site. And if we go ahead and open each of them, you can see that it will import the title, the URL and descriptions that you have. So this one obviously doesn't have a title or a description and then neither do any of these because basically those were just the pages I made in the past other videos. But for the one page that does have a title and description, it imports everything for you. Now what you have is an overall look at the optimization elements for all the existing posts and pages on your blog. And if you want to go ahead and do keyword research, add keywords to these and start optimizing um, for a lot better keywords or more keywords on content, you'll easily be able to have an overview of everything and see where there's opportunities for you to be ranking or tweaking your optimization so that you can rank for more keywords. So one of the other functions that I want to show you is this last column here, which is the rank tracking. And this kind of relates back to the rank tracking video where I said there is another place you can add keywords to your dashboards rank tracker and that was from within the plugin. So what you have to do if you want to track these keywords, all you have to do is go ahead and select all the keywords, click on the lightning bolt actions tab and then go ahead and just track your keyword rankings and then it'll bring up your keywords. You once again select the search engine that you want to track your keywords for and click on add keywords and what that will do is now start tracking the rankings for that keyword or the group of keywords and basically show you where you're ranking right within your project planner. So once again, as I said, it is a humongous optimization dashboard where not only are you able to see your keywords, your on-page optimization elements, your volume data, your CPC data, your competition data, but you'll also be able to see your rankings in live time as well. Now, obviously we're not actually ranking this site as, an, as it's an example site, but if we go back over to our rank tracker and we refresh this page, you'll see CD music populate with five keywords as well. So I'm just going to refresh this now and you can see there's the five keywords inside of our dashboard that we're tracking inside the project planner as well. So it's a great way to track your rankings. And the last few functions that I just want to show you are we do have an ascending and descending button. It just helps you move projects around. We also have an expand all and collapse all to like basically move everything to an open state or move everything to a closed state so that you can just find your groups really, really quickly. Um, and I'm going to actually move over to a live project right now to show you what a finished one looks like to show you the last few features. So I'm going to move over to this site, which is a live affiliate site that's been making me money for a long, long time. It's called Custom Stuff Pets and you can see here where we're tracking the actual rankings of these keywords. But you can also see that we have pages um, showing. So each group is showing whether it's a page or a post. And if it doesn't show it, it just means it's an inactive group, not actually attached to anything. So it doesn't have a tab. And you'll also be able, able to filter by post type, whether it's a post or a page. So if I just select um, posts, nothing will actually show up because we don't have any posts imported into this group or I can select by pages and that's just another quick way to help you filter out and only work on the stuff that's actually live and attached to your site. So that's going to be it for the project planner. Once again, guys, there's a ton of features within this section of the plugin alone. And I really, really suggest you go over to v3.projectsupremacy.com slash webinars and search for the content that we've already covered this in a lot more detail. It's an amazing, amazing tool. This is really going to help you to optimize your entire blogs, posts and pages and be able to rank for a lot more keywords. And there's still even more features that I didn't cover on this video that you can catch over in the webinar replay. So once again, hope you like the video, hope you're loving the tool and please leave all your comments and questions below.